Greetings everyone. Today we delve into the topic of confidence, a crucial element in both personal and professional life. Confidence is the silent song of success, the secret ingredient that pushes you to stand tall, express yourself, and make a difference. Yet certain habits can stealthily chip away at this pillar of self-assurance, leaving you feeling less than your best. Our aim today is to shine a light on these sneaky confidence snatchers and provide you with tools to overcome them. We'll explore six common habits that have the potential to undermine your confidence. From the trap of negative self-talk to the dangerous game of constant comparison, we'll dissect each one, understand its impact, and learn strategies to combat them. Remember, the first step to growth is awareness. So without further ado, let's dive into the first habit. The first habit that can seriously damage your confidence is negative self-talk. This is the inner dialogue that goes on in your mind, and it directly impacts your perception of yourself and the world around you. Negative self-talk can be as subtle as telling yourself, I'm just not good at this, or as crippling as, I'll never succeed. This harmful inner critic chips away at your self-esteem and confidence, leaving you feeling less capable and worthy. But fear not, you can counteract this. Start by recognizing your negative self-talk. Once you're aware of it, challenge it. Ask yourself, is this really true? More often than not, you'll find it isn't. Replace those negative phrases with positive affirmations such as, I am capable and I can succeed. This simple switch can drastically change your mindset and boost your confidence. Remember, your words shape your reality, so choose them wisely. The second habit that can hurt your confidence is constantly seeking approval from others. It's a common trap we fall into, especially in this age of social media where likes and comments can be mistaken for validation. But here's the thing, relying on others for approval is like building a house on shifting sands. It's unstable and can leave you feeling insecure and unfulfilled. Instead, what if we turned our focus inward? What if we sought our own approval and valued our own judgment? This is self-validation and it's a powerful tool for building confidence. It's about recognizing your own worth and making decisions based on your values and beliefs, not on what you think will earn applause from others. So how can we become more self-reliant in decision-making? Start small. Make a choice based on what you truly want, not what you think others expect. Remember, your worth doesn't decrease based on someone's inability to see your value. The third habit that can diminish your confidence is overthinking and ruminating. This is when we get stuck in our thoughts, replaying scenarios in our heads, and obsessing over every decision. Overthinking can lead to self-doubt, second-guessing, and ultimately, a blow to our confidence. It's like being trapped in a maze of your own making, where every path leads to more uncertainty. Now, let's talk about strategies to break this cycle. Mindfulness is a powerful tool. It brings your attention back to the present moment, away from the whirlwind of thoughts. Practice focusing on what you're experiencing right now, without judging or analyzing. Another strategy is setting limits on decision time. Give yourself a deadline. This stops you from ruminating endlessly and encourages you to trust your instincts. Remember, it's perfectly fine to contemplate and reflect, but there's a fine line between careful consideration and corrosive overthinking. Overthinking will destroy your mood. Breathe and let go. The fourth habit that can lower your confidence is avoiding new challenges. This habit has the power to stunt your personal growth and keep your confidence at bay. When we stick only to what's familiar, we rob ourselves of the chance to prove that we can adapt, learn and excel in new situations. Imagine a world where you never tried anything new. It would be like reading the same book over and over again. It's comforting, yes, but it doesn't expand your knowledge, your skill set or your self-belief. Now consider a different scenario. You decide to take on a challenge. It's unfamiliar, it's scary, but it's also exciting. You learn, you stumble, you pick yourself up and eventually you conquer. With every challenge you overcome, your confidence grows and you realize that you are capable of much more than you thought. So step out of your comfort zone, embrace new experiences and watch your confidence soar. Remember, growth and comfort do not coexist. The fifth habit that can erode your confidence is comparing yourself to others. It's a common pitfall, especially in our interconnected world. You see others' accomplishments and start to wonder why you're not at the same level. However, this comparison game is a slippery slope. It can make you feel inadequate and deflate your confidence. Remember, what you see on the surface doesn't tell the whole story. 
you're not seeing the struggles, the failures or the hard work that went into those achievements. Instead of measuring your worth against others, focus on your own journey. Celebrate your progress no matter how small. Set personal goals and strive to achieve them. Learn from your failures and use them as stepping stones to success. Remember, everyone's life is unique and so is their path to success. You're not behind or ahead, you're exactly where you need to be. Everyone has their own timeline for success. The sixth habit that can damage your confidence is not setting personal boundaries. Picture this, you're a castle, and your boundaries are the walls that protect your inner sanctum. When these walls are not firmly established or are easily breached, it can lead to a loss of self-respect and confidence. It's like allowing the world to trample on your precious inner garden. Establishing and maintaining healthy boundaries is a crucial aspect of self-respect, and by extension, self-confidence. These boundaries could be in relationships, where you define what behavior is acceptable to you, or at work, where you set limits on your time and energy. But it's not just about setting these boundaries, it's also about asserting them when they're crossed. Remember, it's okay to say no, it's okay to prioritize your mental well-being, it's okay to protect your castle, know your worth, then add tax. In conclusion, you hold the power to build your confidence. You're not at the mercy of these habits, rather you can change them. By recognizing and addressing habits like negative self-talk, the constant need for approval, overthinking, avoiding challenges, comparing yourself to others, and not setting boundaries, you can start to build a healthier and more confident you. And remember, change is a process. It doesn't happen overnight. Start by incorporating daily practices such as journaling, where you can jot down your thoughts, fears, and accomplishments. Set small achievable goals and celebrate when you reach them. Visualize your success, envisioning yourself as confident, accomplished, and content. Throughout this journey, be patient with yourself. Confidence isn't built in a day, but with persistence, it can be nurtured and grown. You are capable, you are strong, and you can conquer anything that comes your way. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to share it with your friends.